just a brief update. Um, it's been really cool. <coughs> Excuse me, fall allergy time. And um, it's just transitioned to warm, but it's still cold at night. This pumpkin is slowly ripening, but if it doesn't ripen in a few more days, I'm going to put it in the garage and let it ripen there. So uh, that's the big Corvette. And over here we have the small magic lantern. I better walk into the garden. There we go. It's really tiny. That's a pie pumpkin. So uh, that one, I guess I'll walk into the garden with it. I, I mean, um, put it in the garage. It's not ripening at all. So, anyway, let's get this stone out of here. New rule of the house is any stones I find in the yard go by the pond. And next week I'm going to order a cold frame to go over the pond for the winter. So, let's do this. There we go. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to show you my outdoor Halloween display, and uh, that's pretty much it for the garden. There's still a lot of pepper plants producing, but uh, I wouldn't eat any of the tomatoes right now. They probably don't taste good, and sunflowers, of course, are pretty much gone, so like I said, we are way into overtime. Uh, for this area of the country. Garden should have been out a month ago, at least. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'll be right back. Okay. There's my little graveyard that I have every year. Um, only change this year is that this tree is dying, so I'm having a harder time hanging things up in it. And it will probably be gone by this time next year. Um, I'm going to have it taken down and put, maybe put another uh, walking stick, Harry Lauder's walking stick, in its place. Uh, might, uh, those are expensive, so... Um, I might take a cutting of this one and try to grow it here. Or I might get an Austrian pine, but those are even more expensive. This kind of tree is a Colorado spruce and they aren't doing well in this area. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of dying ones on my, my way to work. So, anyway. Over here, that is a thick plastic grave marker that my parents bought about 30 years ago. 20 to 30 years ago. I think it was 30 years ago. They don't make them anymore and that's a shame. Uh, these over here were the best I could get for right now. These are corrugated plastic and uh, the reason I bought them is that I was struggling for several years with foam grave markers and uh, when I inherited this thick plastic one here, I decided instead of struggling with foam every year, which is very difficult, uh, snaps off in the wind, it doesn't always hold up to the rain very well, it's just a mess. So I decided instead of struggling with that anymore, I would give those away, which I'm trying to do. They're out by the curb in the back and no one's taking them. Uh, I would get plastic grave markers. and. Uh, like I said, the best they sell is this corrugated plastic, so we'll see how it holds up. Still got a little over a week to go. So, uh, yeah, that is my display. These are, I don't think they're um, working anymore. They're solar uh, markers, garden path markers. They were from the dollar store. I don't think they work anymore. And there's also not much sun in this spot anymore. But next year there will be. So that is my outdoor Halloween display.
Oh, one more thing. And yes, my lawn is terrible. Um, yeah, that was that pumpkin is something I found at the dollar store. And they were gone in within hours of them putting them out. Unfortunately, they're not very weather hardy. I did put a lot of varnish on this, and it's still puckering quite a bit from the rain. So uh, I'll just enjoy it this year, and then we'll see if I can fix it. Okay, that's it for this week. I'll see you next week.